Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Made in USA 990 V5 in the Core Grey with Castle Rock colorway. The 990 V5 is one of the most comfortable shoes you can bless your feet with, and the Core Grey with Castle Rock colorway is an essential colorway for any New Balance shoe, especially a chunky runner like the 990 V5. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and overall design of the shoe. Starting with the box, the 990 V5 in the gray and Castle Rock colorway comes in the standard gray Main USA box with New Balance Main USA branding around the box. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mugar of the shoe is made out of gray suede, the middle of the toe box is made out of gray mesh, and surrounding the toe box are some darker gray panels of gray perforated nubuck, and at the bottom of the toe box is a small panel of 3M reflective material. Moving towards the middle of the shoe, you get more panels of gray suede, the lace outlets of the shoes are also made out of that gray suede, and in the very middle of the shoe, you get the New Balance N logo in a gray 3M reflective material with a darker gray border. And moving towards the ankle area of the shoe, the top lace eyelets of the shoes are made out of gray TPU plastic. You get more panels of gray suede, more panels of gray mesh, more panels of that dark gray nubuck, as well as a translucent gray ankle support piece that runs from the lace eyelet to the back heel area of the shoe. Near the back of the shoe, you get even more panels of gray mesh, another big panel of gray suede, and on top of that gray suede, you get 990 branding printed on in silver and black. And at the very back of the shoe, you get more panels of that gray mesh, more panels of that gray suede, as well as in the very center, you get a panel of 3M reflective material with a VV logo that stands for version 5, the other V being Roman numeral 5. And at the very bottom of the shoe, you get a translucent gray TPU heel clip for added support with the New Balance NB logo in black in the very center. And the medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of materials and colors. The shoes come with a set of flat white laces, and those laces weave on top of a gray mesh tongue. And at the very top of the tongue, you get a Made in USA branded panel that's made out of light gray nubuck, and you get the Made in USA badge in this uh, shiny plastic material with the USA flag on it. And at the bottom, you get a 990v5 printed on in black. The back of the tongue and the ankle area of the shoe are made out of gray mesh. The 990v5 comes stock with an ortholite comfort insole with a black textile upper. This ortholite comfort insole adds yet another layer of cushioning to an already padded midsole. The midsole of the shoe is made out of three different foams. You got white foam, you got gray foam, and a darker gray foam at the back. But the main technology utilized in the 990v5 is end cap utilized in the ankle area of the shoe. End cap consists of a stiff polyurethane heel cradle with a soft EVA foam core, which gives the user an excellent combination of both softness and firmness. And lastly, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, the 990v5 comes with a black and gray rubber outsole with good traction for running and performance. So now that the overview of the shoe is out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, the 990v5 in the core gray with Castle Rock colorway fits a little big. The 990v5 in my opinion has a bigger toe box area, so I go down half a size. I'm a true size 9.5, so I got these in a size 9 and they fit me well. In comparison to the other 990 models, I go true to size in the 990v1 and 990v2, but for the 990v3 and v4 and v6, I go down half a size. So if you're new to the 990v5, I recommend sticking with your 990v3 and v4 and v6 sizing. The 990v5 in the core colorways like the gray, the navy, and the black colorway 
also comes in various widths. I have standard width, aka size D, but the 990v5 and the core colorways come in widths from like extra extra narrow all the way to like extra 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 wide. So if the width of your feet aren't necessarily standard, I recommend trying on the different widths to see which size is perfect for you. As for comfort, as I said at the beginning of the video, the 990v5 is one of the most comfortable shoes you can bless your feet with. I wore a triple black 990v5 for work for over half of a year and my feet were always comfortable during the day and at the end of shifts uh, my feet did not hurt at all so the 990v5 is a very comfortable shoe. Uh, you can also run in them. Uh, the 990 line has always been a performance running line from the beginning and it still is. And as for my three-factor comfort rating, I give the 990v5 a 7 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. In my opinion, you get an excellent combination of softness and firmness. It's not too overly soft or squishy on your feet, nor is it too overly firm or stiff on your feet, and it has a very supportive midsole shape. As for quality, this being a Made in USA shoe means that the material quality and craftsmanship is definitely a step above standard Asian made New Balances, and uh, the suede quality is nice and soft in hand, the New Bucks feel great in hand, as well as the mesh. In terms of the craftsmanship, I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. And the materials overall blows anything out of the water from other Asian made sports rate brands shoes. As the saying goes, worn by supermodels in London and dads in Ohio. This shoe really is for everyone. It's really comfortable, it's high quality, and it's a very versatile colorway. I can't recommend this shoe enough. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.